All right, boys. So we're here to address a misconception today, which is that uh, the C8 Corvette cannot be drifted. You've probably seen that in a couple of videos. Uh, Cletus did a video on how to do a burnout, and there's been a couple of YouTubers that have done videos on how to do donuts. But I don't think anybody has done a video about how to drift the car. And while you can't really get a super aggressive angle because with all the weight in the rear and all the grip, you run into two problems. The first of which is snap oversteer, which is when you're not giving it enough throttle and all the weight on the rear um, causes your tires to hook up and send you straight into a wall, which you don't want to happen. Um, with all that weight in the rear, you're building up a lot of momentum. So if you give it too much throttle or too much angle, you're just going to spin right around. So it kind of keeps you from being able to get too aggressive of an angle or basically you just want to be careful with your angle and with how much throttle you're giving it so you don't run into snap over steer or just spinning out but um, despite those limitations you can definitely still have some fun with it so let's get into that so obviously you want to have your traction control all the way off if you click the button once it turns off your traction control and if you hold it down for 10 seconds it turns off stability control i would say put it in whatever mode feels most comfortable for you track mode or sport mode whether you like tighter suspension or not now you're definitely going to want to be in manual mode if you're starting from a dead stop lock it in first gear and then really all you got to do to start is obviously just crank the wheel and then you're going to give it a lot of throttle but you don't want to uh, you don't want to give it too much or you're just going to spin out right away so you got to start actually i would say you almost have to drive into it just a little bit and then yeah for like a for like a second just give it a lot of throttle just to kick out the rear end i'll just start with that and give it a try I didn't give it enough throttle and I didn't give it enough angle so I was being hesitant because I'd honestly rather run into snap over steer with this much room than, um, than spinning out but that's what can happen really really easily if you're not giving it enough throttle or enough angle it will just send you straight so keep that in mind okay so there's really no way to explain this to you because you you kind of have to feel it out yourself it depends on like how wide you're swinging it how much throttle you're giving it but um, basically once you crank the wheel and give it that first little bit of throttle, it's gonna spin back. And honestly, you're kind of just gonna feel it. Like once it feels like it's at that optimal point, then you're just want, gonna wanna grab the wheel again. And like, and just, it's one of those things that you feel out, you kind of hold yourself in your angle. And a lot of it is throttle, which we'll get to next. But again, let's just show what you're doing with your hands and with the steering wheel. So if you're going and you crank the wheel and you floor it, Crank the wheel, get a lot of throttle. These are brand new tires. They're really sticky. So more snap oversteer than I remembered, but it can still be done. Still be done. So the wheel swings back to the point it kind of needs to be at. You just have to grab it at the right time. And then it shouldn't require too much input from the wheel to hold it into your angle. But throttle is really important. Um, those videos, I was not giving it enough throttle, so it was hooking up. So as you can see, you're kind of just like modulating your throttle. After that first initial when you first like floor it to kick out the rear end. After that, you're kind of just tapping it, not too much, because if you if you give it a lot at one time, it's just gonna make you spin right around. But it's one of those things where you have to feel out that optimum spot. It really depends on how much tire you have, your surface that you're on. But if you can find that right point to tap it to each time, then it'll kind of just like keep you kicked loose, but it's not gonna make you spin all the way around. It's not gonna give you too much momentum. So I wish I could give you like more specific information on it, but it's one of those things you kind of have to feel out. I'm just making this video to show how I've done it and to show that it can be done. So we'll get some outside shots and then that'll wrap it up. So that's a pretty clean example of how you can drift this car. That's probably about as much angle as you can really give it. Now, I'm sure there will be modifications you can make in the future to get more angle, to make more power, that'll give you more control over that. With all that weight in the rear, if you're sending that momentum farther around, definitely gonna spin out. 
So, got less trout on the tires, or you're on a more slippery surface, you can get pretty wild with it, but those are not the circumstances today. So, yeah. Like and subscribe. What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing alright. I like that bet, man. I appreciate it. Mind trouble? Huh? Mind trouble? No, you're good. I just gotta tell you guys about me doing donuts. So we got trucks coming in and out. Oh, okay. So whenever you guys are out here, we yeah. can't have you guys doing donuts. Okay, you might be on video? Um, I mean, it'd be great if you'd not. Okay. Thank you. I didn't want to keep you here through too much pointless talking. Kind of just wanted to show you the gist of it because somebody had commented in the last video can you show us how to drift the c8 um so if you have a c8 get out there in a big open spot and kind of mess with it and see where those points in the steering and in the throttle are for you obviously that all depends on your angle and everything i couldn't show you that specifically because i mean there's there's too many variables to that but i guess this video is just to show you that it's possible um it can be done the c8 is actually a pretty fun car to drift once you've gotten the hang of it um i got andrew videoing for me again I will leave his Instagram in the bio and um, we're gonna be making daily videos this summer he is getting a bike and um, he's starting a YouTube channel so there'll be videos coming on that so stay tuned for that uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed there's a new lip coming god that is ugly oh god. but uh, the camera's about to die we have gotten all the videoing that we need I hope you enjoyed it peace out peace all right, I, I hate that. Goodbye.